Concern has grown in Southern Africa over an outbreak of avian influenza in South Africa. Some regional governments have decided to ban imports of poultry products from the country after some 300 birds died at a commercial chicken layer farm east of Johannesburg. Samples from the farm tested positive for the H5 strain. Correspondent Sumitra Undu has the story. The avian influenza was detected at an egg-producing farm in Gauteng. Samples tested positive for the H5 strain of the virus, which is similar to the outbreak that occurred in 2017. The farm has been placed under quarantine after around 300 birds were culled. Poultry meat is not affected at this point in time. They don't have the outbreak on a broiler farm, it's on an egg farm. This particular farm of 240,000 hens represents less than 1% of the national flock of, of, of um, egg-laying hens in South Africa. Three neighboring countries have already banned poultry products from South Africa. This includes Mozambique, which relies on 70% of its egg supply from South Africa. It's most unfortunate that they have um, imposed an outright ban, um, unlike Namibia, in our opinion, who's been the most sensible of all in that they have banned products from a particular what they call a compartment or an area where uh, surrounding this farm that was diagnosed with HPAII. So the rest of South Africa for Namibia is still open to export to. Test results have shown that the flu is highly pathogenic and can spread. Risks that it actually presents in my space is that if it actually is not contained within the area that it actually broke out in and it manages to get to my farm, then it could in turn affect my investment. In January, Sabanda discovered that a common respiratory disease was affecting her flock, resulting in crippling losses to her new operation. I had a batch of about two and a half thousand chickens and out of the two and a half thousand chickens, we lost about 900 chickens in a space of two weeks and at some point we had to as an entrepreneur I had to come to a point where I had to make a decision what do I do especially with the older birds because um, as you know with older birds you can't really cure them so you have to decide okay do I stop administering medication and slaughter a thousand birds who am I going to sell a thousand birds to as a small-scale farm I had to slaughter those birds and luckily I mean we managed to contain the actual disease um, and we had to tighten up our biosecurity poultry exports fell 20% after the last outbreak in 2017 the industry has recovered since, with exports to SADC countries pushing 54,000 tons in the last year. But there are concerns that this outbreak could cause another decline if it is not contained soon. There was tremendous loss of um, livelihood in that period. But we've learned a lot since then in terms of the biosecurity protocols and the quarantine protocols. Farmers are calling on government to initiate a vaccine program. Birds carrying the disease are flying from countries going into winter, making it very difficult to manage.